Once at the microphone, she lets Judge Paul Winchester know she's being represented by a well-known name, maybe best known for his pro bono work. And who's representing you today? I'm represented by Jesus Christ. So, um, who's gonna tell her that Jesus didn't show up to court? I don't care what people believe in, even when they're screaming at me in the comments, but it kind of looks like he left you out here to dry. In the man's defense, a probation revocation hearing might be a little below his pay grade. Like, I'm just assuming the Son of God has a few more important things than a 42-year-old woman violating her parole. I'm just picturing him with his hand on his face. Listen, Karen, there are starving kids in Africa right now. Can you please just get someone court-appointed? What's crack a guys? It's Thundros here, back again with another video, and I can tell you, this woman's faith is not the only thing being tested today. Seriously, the judge is probably gonna feel so done after this case. So yeah, this woman's like, Jesus is my lawyer, and I'm gonna do my best not to make too many jokes on the religion itself, and more on the woman, cause I'm just assuming that most Christians aren't this crazy. But kick back, relax, and enjoy, and let's see if this woman's belief system can uh, beat the justice system. Today, she's in court for allegedly violating conditions of her probation. I'm just gonna stop right here and say this has got to be the dumbest reason to be in court. Like, even dumber than a speeding ticket. Like, you're in court because you violated a court order. Do you even realize how stupid that sounds? This is some courtception. You're in court because you violated court. This is just a prime example of spectacularly failing a life. I'm represented by Jesus Christ. So the judge offers up the services of the public defender's office instead. Some people would say that the judge is just doing his due diligence. I would say he's taking mercy on a woman who has a history of making bad decisions. Like your bond isn't getting revoked because you're making good choices. Like the judge is out here handing a lifeline and she's probably gonna slap it away because it ain't Jesus. Real question, do you think she'd accept a pastor as a lawyer or does it have to be the son of God? Like, nope, nope, you're not Jesus, get out. I hope she says something stupid like, you don't have the right to judge me, and then he just points to his title. Like, um, this the state says I do. All right, so I'm going to appoint Mr. Findale. No, to I don't want Mr. Findale. I have that right, Your Honor. Right. Jesus is going to represent for me. I do not want legal counsel. Okay, all right. So what do you want to say? You see that? She's offered an opportunity. She rejects it. She probably thinks reading the Bible gave her a law degree. Actually, let's strike that because uh, I, I really doubt she's read the Bible. Judging by her intelligence, or lack thereof, given the situation, I doubt she's read a magazine cover to cover. I doubt this woman even made it through Genesis. I want to say that I have lived hard, loved hard, played hard, but I've been saved and applied the blood. I'm pardoned through Jesus Christ, okay? Uh, I don't think that holds up here. Plus, you violated your parole. That's a completely separate crime. I mean, Colonel Sanders himself can come in and pardon you. I don't think the Kentucky court system cares. Okay, I want you to chase salvation and play over here too. I was riding the fence between me and you. God gave me a choice, and it's life or death, I kid you not. Do I look like the person that stood before you in August? Do I? I'm humble, I'm in a walk of shame. But alas, Judge Winchester has had enough of the courtroom sermon. Anyone else think she's going for the insanity defense? She's just like, yes, Jesus will get me off. Yeah, no, I, I don't think he's coming. Like, if she just rants enough, will the guy just let her go? Like, oh, come on, come on, you know, God wants you to let me off. Maybe she should worry about the here and now, and right now she's pissing off the person that's about to pass judgment on her. Which, um, probably not a great idea. Okay, let me ask you a question. Yes. Um, allegation is you failed to report to probation parole. Okay, sir. I have nothing in this world. All I need is an answer. No. Did you go? Okay. I went to probation. Yes, I did. But the next two times I didn't handle right. I couldn't find a ride. Well, maybe you should have asked Jesus to take the wheel. <laughs> let me tell you, one time I let him take the wheel, and that whole blood bean wine thing was not great for the breathalyzer. I was out here shouting high score, and the cop was sitting there talking about legal limit or some crap. In addition to not reporting to her probation officer as scheduled, Fox Hamblin has another violation. On December the 9th, 2016, you were given a drug test and you were positive for methamphetamine. Hold up, I thought the J-Man helped you clean up your life. I, I thought you came back here a different person. Do I look like the person that stood before you in August? Do I? I'm humble. I'm in a walk of shame. Well, I guess that walk of shame is to a rockier bottom. And look, it's sad that she can't get herself clean, but you don't walk in and lie to a judge, even if you don't think that guy can, um, judge you. You didn't just bust a cap in your own foot. You set your own pants on fire, you liar. Did she just think, oh, the judge doesn't have access to my criminal history? Nah, that would be inconceivable. Why is it fun to watch someone hose themselves? And that was confirmed by a lab. Saved by blood. Okay, yes or no, do you acknowledge that? 
I acknowledge I'm saved by the blood. She might be saved by the blood, but she's not saved by this gavel. This woman's going down faster than Amber Heard's net worth. Okay, but what do you think you're doing for yourself by saying this stuff? Like, do, do you think it's helping you legally? I'm sorry, but act of God is not acknowledged by insurance or the law. Maybe try a different defense, like not being a liar. I know, super complicated, right? I don't I mean, use I drugs, Your Honor. I, I do not that. use it. You've already told me that, but back on December of 2016, his paper says so, but I will not admit it. He said I could... Are you denying the allegations in this motion? Yes. Honesty might be the best policy, but this woman dodges the truth like a goddamn politician. And she's so good at it. I'm surprised she hasn't run for the city council. Probably because the town can't handle the pollution from all the crap she spews. Plus, let's be real here, she can't lie her way out of a paper bag. Back in December, did she test positive for drug use? She didn't. He's not telling the whole truth, you're okay. on. You expect me to, he is too tight. Because you've been so forthright, Shannon. Kind of uh, calling the kettle black here. Love that she's going with the strategy, well, well, they did it. Doesn't at all make her look like a petulant child. Okay, I, let me tell you something. I have to go by what the test he says. He is lying, the, sir. The his test, says, test wasn't right. The, what I'm telling you is, I have to go by what the lab says. Doesn't have anything to do with what he said. Between me and you. Okay. Prison is to reform me, right? I'm not going to sit here and talk about what prison is actually for, but let's face it, it doesn't stop you from uh, doing stuff. And if anything, it's reformed her into a compulsive liar. Make me a good person for well, society. That is that and correct? to keep you from breaking the law. Okay. Well, do you believe that the blood applied by Jesus Christ can do more reform for me than uh, Pee Wee Valley? Do you believe it can happen in one day, one minute, or one hour? Well, so I'm sentenced to death. I'm going to die. So she went on another religious rant and then punctuated it with, and uh, I'm sentenced to end game. What was the initial crime even about? Like, not even talking about the probation. Like, even if she got caught with 20 kilos of the good Colombian stuff, I doubt they'd execute her. And judging by the lack of orange jumpsuit, I doubt she unalived anyone. Did she come to these proceedings Wired? Like, what's going on here? Because that girl ain't right. Mr. Engel, can you take her for me, please? Motion is sustained. Sir, I'm not, I have the right to speak, okay? Another court official enters to help remove her. No, I won't go. You understand? I'm not. No. And now this woman is fighting the bailiff, so I have no idea what's wrong with her. Like, uh, you know what? I'm already in trouble. Might as well get second degree assault tacked on. I think crimes for this woman are like shopping. She's like, oh, what's one more felony gonna do? If she does commit a crime here, does she just have to stand trial here? Like, could we just do it immediately? Like, okay, you know what? Let's get this over with. She's already here. I mean, I'm just saying it would probably save a lot of the court's time. As the struggle spills into the hallway, Fox Hamblin continues to resist. On top of having her bond revoked, Shannon Fox Hamblin was charged with contempt of court, second degree assault, resisting arrest, and second degree disorderly conduct. She was sentenced to eight years in a Kentucky prison. Are you telling me she didn't win the case? I wonder what her, um, attorney charged her. You know, the good news is, I hear God takes MasterCard these days. You realize if she didn't attack that bailiff, she probably would have only gotten, like, two or three years? Dude, I swear, she has to be a trailer park person. I hope her brother father doesn't miss her too much. Like, a person doesn't get this dumb without some crossed wires. But I am going to start wrapping this video up. I just thought this would be a fun palate cleanser between all the reality shows I've been doing lately. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe to the channel because it does help me out a ton. Anyways though, try not to do anything too stupid. Please keep yourself safe and until next time, this is Thundro signing off.